Norman, Oklahoma is a fast growing city. And today I wanna to give you a tour of the neighborhood of Eagle Cliff so you can see what it might be like to live here. Hey there, I'm Marcy Billen and I'm a real estate agent here in Norman, Oklahoma with Keller Williams, Smolenix and Bria Team Realty. Thanks so much for hopping on our channel. I really appreciate it. As you can see today, I'm filming from my car. I wanted to get out of the house and I thought this was a great way to do that. Um, I am filming in January. So if you see like a lot of brown grass and it's kind of gray and dull outside, it's January. So you get to see what winter is like here and it is quite cold. I think it's around 40 degrees. So yeah, if I'm shivering in some of the stuff, it's because of that. So I know for some of you, Eagle Cliff is gonna be super specific, but I get a lot of feedback that you like these neighborhood tours. So if there's a neighborhood or a community in particular that you wanna see, go ahead and drop that in the comments and we will see what we can do about making that video. So Eagle Cliff is a neighborhood that's located in South Norman, just south of Highway 9. The location is phenomenal. If you work south of Norman or need access to roads south of Norman, like Highway 9, it's also a super affordable neighborhood. The prices in this neighborhood are consistently less than the prices of the neighborhoods in North Norman. This neighborhood, as you can see on the map, is just south of Cedar Lane. And then there are two other neighborhoods across from it that are a little bit newer. One is Cedar Lane and one is Monterey. The first homes were built in Eagle Cliff in the early 1980s, and there are still new homes going up in this neighborhood. The homes range in size from 900-ish square feet all the way up to 2,500 square feet. But usually these homes are right around 1,600 square feet for this neighborhood. And since these homes have spanned decades, as you can see, the styles definitely differ quite a bit. There are a few different park-like areas in this neighborhood, ranging from your basic open space to an actual playground, walking trail, basketball court, backstops, and of course a soccer field. There are a few other amenities that are super close as well, like gyms, Starbucks, um, there's some gas stations, other restaurants, and then of course a Walmart super center. And then this neighborhood is really close to Noble as well if you get a hankering for some small town life. This location is also a very easy drive to the University of Oklahoma, OU, and then to other businesses, to other companies in South Norman, namely like the Weather Center. And then you also have places like Hitachi and the Postal Training Center. This neighborhood is a popular place to live and the cost of housing here does make a huge difference. And if you haven't seen my cost of living in Oklahoma video, then you're definitely going to want to check this one out next. I've seen people get homes in this neighborhood for as little as $100,000, but those are usually really small and usually in really bad condition or not so great condition. The newer homes are selling for closer to $250,000 and you get everything in between that as well. Usually between $150,000 all the way up to, like I said, $250,000. So there really is something for everyone in this neighborhood. I hope you enjoyed this fun overview. If you did and you have an idea about another community that you'd like me to feature, please go ahead and drop that in the comments. And I definitely think you should watch this video next.